Hey guys, it's Grayson, and I just wanted to quickly talk about doctors because I just had my first doctor's checkup um, that I've had since I was like six. And I just turned 17, so that's a good 10 years ish. Um, so, basically, first we went over my blood work, which, if anybody cares, is fine. I'm not, I don't have any uh, worrisome issues with my blood or my uh, kidneys. Um, and then we just talked about. Um, different things he asked about my monthly cycle and stuff like that, and he asked about, like, um, <laughs> sorry, my mom is yelling, um, yeah, we talked about, like, family and more, more in-depth, like, trans stuff, um, regarding, like, gender identity and things like that, and then I had to do, like, um, height and weight, as well as, uh, blood pressure, um, that heart rate, I don't know, um, but I was in my underwear, um, but I had, like, a smock thing on, I don't know, but, like, I wasn't so uncomfortable, like, I had my undershirt on and my boxers, um, and he did go, like, I had to lay down, and he did go under my undershirt with the, I don't remember, the stethoscope? Is that what that thing's called? I don't know. Um, which, I don't know, it was more embarrassing rather than, like, a really, like, uncomfortable situation. I don't know, I didn't really find it to be that uncomfortable, but I blush really easily, and I could feel that my face was really hot. Um, so, I mean, from, from that perspective of, like, sitting in my underwear for a good 15 minutes talking to him, probably not the most ideal situation, but it wasn't awful. Um, so, I mean, that went over pretty easily. I was kind of worried. I wasn't sure if I'd have to get, like, a physical or anything. Like, I w he just kind of said, like, come in for a checkup, and that was it. And since I haven't been to a doctor in forever, I had no idea what that entailed. So, I mean, from what I expected to happen and what did happen, it wasn't that bad. Um, and then on a positive note, he's sending my um, blood work and stuff. And then all the things, he's writing a referral for an endocrinologist. So, he said that um, they'll call me when the stuff gets sent through and the endocrinologist says, like, when they're available. Um, so, that was pretty awesome. So he's sending that and he's going to contact me whenever all that stuff gets done. So, um, endocrinologist is kind of far, so it's going to be quite a bit of a drive, which kind of sucks, but, um, my friend is with this endocrinologist and apparently he's really nice and really awesome. So, um, that's pretty good. Um, so pretty, pretty exciting stuff. I guess I'll worry about financial shit later. Um, yeah. But all in all, the whole doctor thing, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I could see where some people would be extremely uncomfortable with, with, you know, um, sitting in your underwear for a while, um, with two other people present in the room, but, I mean... I don't know. I obviously would have been a lot more uncomfortable if I actually had to be naked, but I wasn't, so it was okay. Um, yeah. It wasn't that bad, and things are going pretty good. Um, so I'm pretty psyched about the endocrinologist referral. Um, all in all, not much is, not much is going on. Just a quick little doctor, physicals, I don't know, sort of video um, from a trans perspective. Uh, my doctor's pretty, pretty supportive, pretty, um, pretty 
pretty decent guy. Um, so it wasn't painful. I guess if you have a doctor that's really unsupportive and really rude about it, you might want to consider getting another doctor. But I mean, if your doctor's really nice and really like um, aware of maybe your insecurities about your body, then you know it'll the process will be a lot easier. So that was it, guys. And thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe questions, video topics, anything like that, leave them down below, and thanks for watching. See ya.